what's up guys welcome back to another dsm video today we're going to be fixing uh an issue that has been happening for a little bit now um as you guys can see we do have a, a leaking clutch master cylinder it actually started ruining the paint around the engine bay in the back and it's quite the bummer because i did have the engine bay painted so today we're going to be focusing on replacing the clutch master cylinder with an Exedi replacement and I also went ahead and bought this uh, braid line which you guys could also get I'll be linking both of these products in the video description for you guys to check out the good thing about this braid line is I will be able to basically get rid of this pretty ugly uh, hard line that's in the car right now so it should make the engine bay look just a tad bit more aesthetic I was struggling to put this thing into reverse when I was backing it into the garage so it was only a matter of time before this thing was pretty much undrivable. I will focus more on taking it out to car events, car shows, cars and coffees, maybe some pulls against other cars. You guys let me know what you guys want to see with this car. So let's begin with the removal. Uh, we'll go ahead and start removing this thing from the inside. If you guys can see you have that cotter pin right here on the left and right after that you go right by the firewall and remove that nut right there which I think is a 12. Okay, so it's a 13. Okay, so here we have a two 12 millimeter bolts that are on the firewall, which attach the reservoir. Okay, so now I'm gonna focus on detaching this rubber hose right here. I'm gonna go ahead and grab some pliers. Uh, be careful because you could start leaking some uh, brake fluid over your engine bay, which is why I have this uh, towel here, just to keep the engine bay as safe as possible. This is the reservoir setup. After you're done with this, you come back in here. Go ahead and dry everything up. We're pretty much ready to detach the uh, hard line off of the clutch master cylinder right there based on what i saw it's a 10 millimeter uh wrench i do recommend getting these flare wrenches uh just so you don't strip off the uh thing here even though we're not going to reuse it it's just a good habit to have you can find these are harbor free i got them pretty cheap for like the full set so just so weird working on this thing considering the fact that i uh i don't touch this thing all I see left is that nut right there on the firewall. I'm gonna go ahead and remove that real quick. Um, and it should come out. So just get an extension, 13. Jackpot. All right, so here is the defective unit. This thing looks pretty bad. I don't know how long it's been on there, but if you guys see the uh, firewall, Look how damaged that paint is. And it's a bummer because I did get this thing uh, completely painted. So I kind of want to repaint the whole engine bay just because of that portion. <laughs> Clutch Messenger part number MC401 by Exeti. Just in case you guys are looking for it. We have the new clutch master cylinder versus the old one. The only thing I'm kind of noticing is the rod length. I'm not sure if that's normal um, because if I try to match it, we're going to be on by like two threads. Not only that, this is also slightly different. I mean, they seem to be the same part number. They seem to be like the same bore size, but it's just the rod difference that I'm noticing. So I'll keep you guys updated. Let me put this thing together, adjust them to the same size. Okay, so I got it as close as possible. Uh, once you get everything aligned, you basically stick a screwdriver through here. You grab yourself a 12 millimeter and you tighten the nuts. This should still be able to spin, but as you guys can see, it's all in one piece now. So now we should be able to put this back on. I'm gonna go ahead and install it, see how everything fits. Um, and then from there, we could focus on the braided line, but I'm assuming it's just a different style of uh, Clutch Master cylinder. It's not the same brand. She's 
on on the outside. So I went ahead and put the cotter pin back on. I tightened on that nut. All right, so 30 minutes later, we're officially done. The one conversation I have with a lot of people in regards to doing YouTube videos or just filming overall when you're working on cars is that it takes up an extra two or three times the amount of time that it would have taken you if you would have just worked on the car just from the get-go. I would have probably been done already if I didn't film any of it, but I do want to document everything. And if you guys film and work on your cars as well, you kind of understand the struggle because it just makes the work twice as hard you have to take into consideration the other people and then of course you always have to make sure that you have clean everything properly so at this point the new clutch master cylinder is on there we still have the hard line here that i have to disconnect from the slave in there um, we also have to install the reservoir which i'm going to go ahead and clean out just to make sure that it's all cleaned up and besides that uh, i do have to wait for marissa to come over and help me bleed the clutch for the braided line it is a 13 millimeter uh, wrench that you're gonna have to use to tighten on there what I love about the Eclipses is that I feel like they're way easier to work on versus the 3000 GT. So going from like the V6 over there to this, and then this thing's pretty much like wire tucked and AC and power steering deleted, so it just makes everything super easy and accessible. Okay, so now that the clutch mass cylinder is on and the reservoir is on, we can now focus on the braided line. So this is where my car is gonna be different from pretty much everyone else. So these lines are pretty much made for the GSTs and GSXs, which the transmission is actually on this side, as you guys know, the, the GST and GSX 4G63 engine is on that side. So the transmission ends up on this side, hence why it's a lot longer. So I actually have a lot of extra braided line it doesn't have to be this long my slave cylinder is off an evo because it is evo swap so this is a universal piece this will fit on either slave cylinder so whether you're trying to do this on a 428 per se or a 4g63 it should be the same so for us 428 boys or whoever has an evo swap this line will be a little bit too big you do have to unplug the hard line from the slave down here i already went ahead and loosened it it was a 14. Make sure you're careful because you're gonna start dropping some fluid on the floor. Oh, be careful. And yes. No more ugly hard line. To avoid the excess line, all I did was actually feed it through the back of the manifold, then back inside, and then it comes out on this side. So it's actually, I don't know, if it's a lot better than just having it sit there. As far as the bolt goes, like I said, you have the banjo bolt, which is where the fluid goes. You have two copper washers. One goes on this side, you feed onto the slave, and then you put the copper washer, the other one, on the other side. So let me take care of that real quick, and I'll get back with you guys. Good morning, sunshine. <laughs> What's wrong? Sleepy. You're sleepy? Tell everyone what happened to you. I have no more teeth. No more teeth? You got your wisdom teeth removed? How are you feeling? <laughs> I need you to help me uh, bleed my clutch today and I'll get you some uh, Jamba Juice, okay? And then you can sleep can afterwards. Duke, come? Duke? Sure. <laughs> come on. Ah, oh my god. <laughs> What'd you say? Hello, <laughs> Berka. Oh, my life goes sweet. I'm gonna sell it on eBay. Why? What is that? This is rubber from the Miguel DSM's tire from the smoking tire review. This <laughs> is this will be worth a million dollars one day. They're like rainbow colored. Yeah. From I'm all the rubbing. I'm gonna take all the tire and sell it. Alright, so for the bleeding process, I went ahead and <laughs> attached a 10 millimeter uh, wrench on there. Uh, on your so basically you're gonna put the wrench on your slave you're gonna have another person in there pretty much pumping the clutch pedal Hi. if yeah so we have her i have some dot four brake fluid here so like i said she's gonna pump the clutch pedal 10 times hold i'm gonna loosen the uh, 10 millimeter bolt right there let all of it out tighten it back up she starts pressing again and it's just a repetitive process until we feel the clutch pedal feels somewhat good but what were you saying? You're complaining about you not driving it? The fact that he let another man drive it before me. <laughs> so are we going to make a video of you driving it? I'm going to take a nap for sure right now. Okay. I don't know. It's pretty uncomfortable in here. Breaking loose. Okay. Nothing came out. 
tightening back up tight pump again check for fluid oh my god i overfilled it damn it i don't want him to suck my blood <laughs> do we have to take this one? yes i want to take that i want you to test drive it you could test drive it without me no, you need to be with me just in case it breaks. I want to be with you. <laughs> Step on them. You buy me new ones. <laughs> Alright, so we went ahead and bled the clutch. Um, let's go ahead and test drive this thing. Get this woman some Jamba Juice for coming out to help. Um, and she should be set. I swear, he just invites me over to hold the camera. Come on, I'm hungry! <laughs> As usual. Oh my god. One hour later. Good with the front lid. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I guess the video's done for now. Quick master cylinder replacement. The Eclipse is back in action. I like Jamba Juice. You like Jamba Juice? Shout out to Jamba Juice. Damn, Maserati with the gorillas up in there. That's what's up. <laughs> All right, guys. So pretty much in the video here. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.